Welcome back to the Albania Way and today we got a 2011 E350 Bluetech, which means it has a diesel engine inside. So many of you might wonder, how do you replace the air filter on these engines? I looked around on the internet, on YouTube, could barely find any video explaining how to exchange them. I did find a couple that were kind of similar, but not exactly what I was looking for, especially for this type of car. Okay, so first we're gonna pop the hood. Okay, so first you want to remove the cover, which is this whole plastic thing here. All you do, you just pop it off the way. But before you do this, you just unclip this air flow here. You got a clip here on the side. So you pop this away. Same on this side. And all you do is you just lift it away. And now just lift this whole plastic cover like this just put it away okay so one thing I want to show you just so we know what we're doing here is let's see the way the air flows inside the engine what's the air ways basically so the air comes in here goes through this pipe all the way down there and it goes right below the air box or the air filter right here and then the air cleans out there comes back out here and goes right back into the air intake manifold same way for this goes in there underneath to the air box and right inside the manifold okay which means in order to take this out we need to unclip this we need to unclip this and maybe unclip path right there so we can pull this outside okay so first thing all you need to do is you can push this down and pull this out same way it's underneath you push the clip and take this out there we go this connection right there doesn't have no clips nothing that's attached though all you need to do is to just pull it wiggle it out and here we go easy as that put this away same with this back in here there you go and we need to undo this screw to loosen up the connection here and also the air filter box here is held by two torque screws one here and one is right there where my finger is touching right now now for the torque screws you need a e10 torques we want to release the sensor here pull this great tab outwards you might probably need a flat screwdriver but i got it okay so you pull this out you just push it inside like that and you'll hear probably click sound there you go and let go of it all right and for the screw on this clamp I got a seven millimeter socket same exact thing over on the side Alrighty, so here we got the driver's side and the passenger side air filter boxes and if this screw came kind of loose on you, mine did on this one, on the passenger side, all you do is push this back in place and it's all good. Now, we need torque screw sets to undo one, two, three, four screws. Take this back off and as you can see, that's where the filter lies right underneath. Let's pop this off. Here's our new one. You can see the difference. Like 
this. Good to go. Next one. Compared to this, yeah, you can see the difference. All right, brand new filters inside. And let's reverse everything what we did. All right, and just like that, we are done. Just put this above the engine. Make sure this is popping through there. And once in place, you just pop it in and it's firm. And we grab this and you can see the bottom lip here, it goes in there first and push this top on both sides and this is it all done now your car can breathe better and possibly get a little bit better gas mileage well folks this is it thank you for watching and i catch you next time <laughs>